To install the boat end system, begin by preparing ballast and sub base. Spread a fine compactable aggregate mix and compact it using a handheld whacker. Use the boat end leveling tool to set depth to the rail. Lift and place the precast concrete beams onto the prepared sub base. Set and tamp down to assure design grade and spacing from the rail. Be sure to refer to the transpo detail drawing for the correct measurements for the system being installed. Next, apply a leveling course of dry concrete mortar to the top side of the concrete foundation beam. Use the Bodan leveling tool to set the specified depth. Smooth with a hand mortar board. Lift and place the polymer concrete edge beam on top of the precast beam. Tamp down the edge beam to assure a proper set to the leveling course. Again, check for level and proper alignment from the rail using the Bodan alignment tool set to the specified dimension. Repeat the same installation sequence for the opposite side of the rail. The design of the boat end system requires the interior gauge panel to be installed first. Begin by placing the lower portion of the two-piece rubber sleeve on each side of the rail between the rail-to-tie attachment plates. Lift and place an interior panel, lowering the nose of one side of the panel first. Use the fulcrum tool provided by Transpo to compression fit the panel between the rails. After the panel is in place, slide the top section of the two-piece rubber sleeve between the panel and the rail using the panel spreader tool. Continue to place the interior panels, paying particular attention to the alignment with the rail. Prior to installing any exterior panels, place a flat rubber absorber in the horizontal recession of the edge beam. Place an additional flat rubber bumper strip between the outside edge of the panel and the vertical section of the edge beam. Now, place the one-piece rubber sleeve contoured to the rail size between the rail-to-tie attachment plates. Lift and place the exterior panel using the lifting chain and brackets supplied by Transpo. Bring the nose of the panel into the rubber sleeve first, then lower the panel onto the edge beam. Release the panel lifting chain and brackets and use the iron bar tool to position the panel. Keep the joints tight. Repeat this sequence until all exterior panels are installed across both sides of the crossing. As shown on the Transpo system drawing, secure the slab retainers to the end run of all panels and install the deflector plate to the last interior panel on each end of the crossing.